my channel. I am still in the beautiful Goa in India and right now I'm on a car ferry making my way across to this island you can see behind me because I'm going to stay at a famous heritage property called Fort Tirupal. Now it's only a small property, it's only a few rooms but I've been reading about it online and it looks absolutely incredible so I'm pretty excited. It's only a short journey across the island and then I'll be able to show you guys the property. now and there's a lovely approach coming onto the inside. Got the water to the left of me and then to the right you can see the old walls. There we go. Into Fort Turacol Heritage Hotel. Look at this entrance. This is obviously the main courtyard and behind me is actually a chapel. This just looks lovely. And then there's flowers everywhere. I love that colour, that bright pink. The courtyard like this, and all the rooms around the outside, it almost feels like a private little village. I can't wait to see the room. So this is my room, which is called Wednesday. I've got an amazing four poster bed with views out onto the ocean. This is so lovely. I didn't know I was going to have a balcony. I absolutely love a mix of old and new. So I'm actually right next to the walls of the fort here. Little turrets everywhere. And then the room itself is pretty classically decorated. AC, fan, what else? Very big bathroom, wow. We've got a chandelier. This is just gorgeous. favourite things about the hotel is definitely the location of the restaurant. There is a lovely inside bit as well, but I'm eating out on the terrace and you can definitely see why. Look at this incredible view. It's just so pretty with the palm trees and the water. And first, I've got wine and prawns, so I'm very happy. So Fort Turacol offer a number of excursions and now I've had a little rest and refresh in my room I've decided to come out on a bird watching trip. So we've got a little boat, the sun is in what you'd call the golden hour now, it's absolutely beautiful on the water and it's a little bit less hot meaning we can sit outside and not get too sunburnt seeing as I'm incredibly pale. So let's go and see what we can find. There's a big eagle on the closest 
tree to us. I don't know if you can see that. Probably not. You're just gonna have to trust me. So the first thing on my agenda today is a village walk which is organised by the hotel and it's going to be a walk around a traditional village in the local area hopefully to meet some of the local people and learn a bit about the way of life here. So the fort's actually right on the edge of a cliff which means it's got amazing views all around and you can actually walk around the grounds and come to this area and see all the local fishermen. They actually have a giant sea cave on the property. You can see behind me, it's pretty huge. And it was originally known as Goldsmith's Cave. And apparently a long time ago, people would actually come here to make ornaments. I'm not sure why they chose to come to a sea cave, but it's a pretty cool place to do your work. Oh. I don't know why I've worn wedges to do this. Completely inappropriate. <laughs> Here we go. Oh wow, that's a nice view. Look at this view. So these are the cashew apples. You can see the fruit there. Up here on top. There's only 40 houses in the whole village. They're all very multicoloured, which I love as always. And there's fruits everywhere. So there's the cashew apples, jackfruit, what else? Mango up above. Yeah, just, just That's it. It's empty. No, it has water in it. Please tell me. It does have water. <laughs> there we go. Yeah. It has it's some, very nice. It has a little bit of water. <laughs> you can fill it more. I'll fill it more. Okay. It's like go on lady. I think this is the first time that I've ever filled water from a well like this. Yeah. This is fun. There we go, that's better. Yeah, you made it. Catch it, yeah. Ta da! <laughs> <laughs> that's better. There isn't a pool, but I do have my own private terrace with some lounges and sea views and fort views as well actually. Let me spin around so you can see this. There we go, so surrounded by the walls of the fort, palm trees, coconuts, and a nice little place to get a bit of a suntan. famous beaches. This is actually the beach that I can see from my balcony. I don't think you guys are going to be able to see the hotel but it's just that little speck in the distance behind me and it's so lovely to come down onto the beach now. It's actually not that busy. It's the end of the tourist season so there's still a few people around. I hope that you guys have enjoyed exploring Tiracol with me and make sure to subscribe.